Hello and welcome back to the Chaways. My name is Susie and today I am bringing you a video about indoor plants. I am going to share with you some of my plants at home and um, maybe um, they will also help purify your home as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to share uh, a little bit. It's not going to be about this plant, but I love this plant so much um, that I wanted to share. I got this from a friend actually, and when I got it, it was sort of dying and it's looking beautiful right now. going to share with you two plants that I really love and um, I think they make a difference in my home. The first one is um, called the mother-in-law's tongue also known as the snake plant. I think mine is uh, kind of overgrown this little uh, wooden container that I have in there so I had to put it in this white container for now until I get a proper container for it I think I do need to split it up because it is just growing so much and uh, it needs um, bigger space I think so for this plant apart from it being one of the best indoor plants I think it looks great uh, it has the ability to purify air by absorbing toxins through the leaves and producing oxygen. Uh, I think it is ideal for the bedroom. I have a small one in my bedroom. I'll show you just a second here. So this is the small version of that plant. I keep this one in the bedroom. And it is growing. Um, grows really fast I, I think so um, I separated this one from the big one and I put it in a smaller container I place this in an area that does not have a lot of traffic so um, it could be really any room in your home like I said I have one in the bedroom a small one and then this one is in the dining area so there's not a lot of movement in here and I think it is a perfect location for it. Um, so this can go for a while without being watered. And uh, like I said, it's really it'll be really hard to kill this one. So this plant does really well in direct um, sun and low light conditions. So um, summertime, I put it closer to the door. Uh, and then I just moved it winter time and just put it here. Um, Winter just started, so um, that's where I have it for now. But I'm not sure if that's going to move. In summary, um, the mother-in-law's tongue, also known as the snake plant, is one of the best indoor plants to have at home because it absorbs negative energy and creates posit positive energy in your home. So um, consider having one of these in your home if you don't already have one. So the next plant that I'm sharing with you, I have this at home. It is the money tree. Um, so this plant is also rated uh, as an air purifier, highly rated as an air purifier. It's said to bring luck and wealth and it also adds vitality to any home. It only requires indirect light and you don't need to water this frequently so it's also easy maintenance this is the braided one I really love the look of it at the bottom it's very very nice um, I, ca <laughs> I cannot guarantee that this tree will attract wealth and good energy for you but I can guarantee it will definitely freshen your home and you will enjoy watching it grow as I am currently enjoying watching mine grow as you can see uh, this is fresh growth right here. 
so and I'll just show you the bottom down here so it is braided as you can see see it's beautiful it's really really nice um, it's very low maintenance like I said it's similar to the mother-in-law's tongue which is the snake plant it uh, doesn't require a lot of work so even if you're not good with uh, fresh plants like indoor plants like this um, like I said <laughs> with the first one you're not gonna kill this one um, so yeah um, I hope you if you don't already have these plants at home I hope you try them out um, just to kinda purify your egg you know like um, get rid of bad energy and attract good energy in your home you know we all need that especially at this time ah, during the pandemic so yeah um, this is the money tree and it is beautiful I think there's another one called the money tree as well but this one is the Chinese one that is braided at the bottom there's a name for it. I think it's called, uh, what is it called? Pachera Aquatica, I think. Don't quote me. I may be wrong, but I think that's the name for it, the other name for it. So, yeah. Um, it's beautiful. That's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. And... Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. I mean, if you were thinking of Christmas gift ideas, this could be part of it. Give something green, something that purifies the home and attracts good energy. Um, both plants will do as a nice gift to anybody in your family or friends. Uh, like I said, these plants absorb ne uh, negative energy and uh, create positive energy in a home. So, and they look nice. <laughs> Give them a try. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have any questions for me. Just drop them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer them. Or if you have any suggestions of any good plants that you have and you would like me to try them out, let me know. So this plant, I usually put it by the door area to the balcony. And uh, it's pretty good there. I just rotate it. Whenever I water it, I just rotate it so that, you know, the other side as well kind of blooms. Right? So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.